Hello friends. So in the today's video, uh, we are diving into the exciting world of Raspberry Pi 5. If you're looking to supercharge your Pi performance, you are in the right place. We are going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing an NVMe SSD on your Raspberry Pi 5, unlocking faster boot time, improved read write speeds, and a smoother overall experience. So let's see how we can use a Raspberry Pi 5 official hat for this purpose and we can boost the Raspberry Pi 5 performance. So uh, first uh, we need to check uh, this particular Raspberry Pi 5 hat. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm just unloading it. And so we need to put uh, this hat into the PCI slot uh, using this PCI cable. Okay, so uh, put it gently, uh, it should not get break but it is just a very it's easy to install it okay so and just put put it there and push the uh, the fitting and then uh, we can put it into the 40 pin gpio board and just map it correctly so that it get fitted into it okay so uh, after that uh, i have got this 512 gb of ssd and that's what i'm going to install it into it so we just we will take it out and then we will put it into the NVMSD slot. So we will get a click sound. So when it get plugged and then we are good with that. So once it get clicked and then we can put it the screw terminal uh, into it so that it get fitted properly. You just check it uh, when you are putting it, uh, it should get into the particular slot correctly. And then uh, we are good. Okay. so just tighten the screw and then we will power it up and we will go to the raspberry pi 5 imager okay so raspberry 5 imager uh, we can choose the uh, storage uh, which is the uh, nvme and then the model of the raspberry pi 5 and the os so here in this particular i'm going to set up the os as ubuntu so ubuntu uh, latest one the 64-bit desktop part and that we will utilize to see also the performance how exactly it will behave so it will take some time to get it installed uh, it will ask you for the password for the authentication uh, when we are doing it and then once it get written uh, we will be good to get started uh, by the boot into the nvme how exactly we can set it up so that will be the next process so it will take some time uh, so I'm moving it at a very faster rate and then uh, we will go into so once it get installed then we can go into the terminal and then uh, we can open the Raspberry Pi 5 config so that's uh, we can put the command as sudo raspi config uh, okay uh, I, I lost it so let's put I and that's we config and then uh, we can go into the advanced option and there we have the boot order correct so into the boot order we can uh, select the b2 which is nvme usb boot and then it will go into that so now uh, the next boot which will happen okay uh, it will happen from the nvme where we have the ubuntu setup okay so once it get completed, yeah, we can click OK and then we will go to the finish part. So we will tab it and finish it. So and once we click on the finish, it will ask you to reboot now and we can click on yes. And once it is yes, then it will go into the reboot mode. And then uh, in the next reboot, it will come from the Ubuntu side because that is what I have installed it on the NVMe so it is booting from the ssd so now the boot time is actually pretty uh, faster what we had earlier and then uh, it will take some uh, it will ask you to go through the configuration of the ubuntu so uh, everything is uh, pretty smooth in this uh, and it is faster uh, but uh, i still saw some of the glitch uh, which i was experiencing in with the sd card also so uh, like this if you see this particular graphics it is not coming very perfectly it, it was same happening in the sd card also so uh, here it remains same but 
the boot time the uh, configuration time is faster uh, than the ssd and i will show you how exactly the speed and mat differs and everything is there uh, so this is the setup which we need to do so i think it remains same and there is no change uh, but and we click on the finish and we are done with the setup so it it is pretty uh, fast okay and uh, we just need to change uh, some of the command to so the command we need to change some configuration so like the boot order if you see it is 0xf146 uh, which is for nvme and if it, i change it to f41 then it will be for ssd so with that particular configuration we can utilize uh, both so ssd at some time and then if you want to change it to uh, S sd card then we can just change the configuration so let me uh, go into the configuration so sudo e and rpi from config uh, then we can put it edit and then here if i go and change the boot order from 146 to uh, it is 041 uh, 41 basically not 041 f41 and save this particular file and then so it is written we will exit from here and then uh, it get updated and then we can reboot basically the raspberry pi 5 so e from update pending please reboot to apply the update correct it is showing here so we will reboot it uh, and then so let me go here and click on the restart and when i restart it then i will go back into the sd card mode which is having uh, raspberry pi raspberry os basically so let it get started and then if we see yeah so it is booting up and then it is welcome to the raspberry pi desktop and then we are into the raspbian os over the sd card so in this way we can utilize both so now we can see the performance part how the speed and everything uh, let me show you that so uh, using a uh, few of the libra uh, libraries like nvme uh, cli commands we can utilize so nvme list will provide me the nvme details so if you can see we can find the details so as I am using 512 GB and so that is what it is showing and then uh, using uh, df command we can be able to find the boot option uh, from which the machine has booted so let me show you so if you see it is utilizing just the 3% of disk space and uh, then uh, to get the speed performance correct so we can press the command like sudo sd and then it will do the read part and then it will provide me the details of the speed so cast so you can see that how exactly it is getting all the data within two seconds and then also the buffered disk space so almost it is see uh, more than double the speed which we are getting so it is just right now uh, basic means it is not i have not enabled the pci3 which will increase the speed more on this particular model and then uh, with the edge top we can see that how exactly it is performing uh, with different all the modules which are programs which are running so so performance wise uh, it uh, i find it pretty good from the sd of course it will be so uh, that's the way we can utilize nvme uh, for our purpose and in the Raspberry Pi, and we can improve the performance and utilize it in a better way Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.